Hello, I have another sketchbook tour video, and this time it's a tiny sketchbook, so you can like compare it with my hand. It's a really small sketchbook. Um, I'm sorry if like the camera is really shaky because I'm balancing my phone on my lamp right now, and also apologize for my nails. They're like really gross, and I only have nail polish on two fingers because I keep scratching them off. So yeah, last video people were like complaining that I kept fidgeting with the pages like this, so I'll try not to do that. So yeah, this sketchbook I started in 2019, but uh, I, yeah, I started this a long time ago, but um, I just like took a break from it and now I'm in college. So I just kind of doodle whenever I'm in a boring Zoom meeting and that's how I finished the sketchbook. Uh, I was using Copic markers here, which is like the only time I ever use Copic markers in this uh, sketchbook because it bleeds really easily through the paper. Also, if you're curious, I'm using um, the Stillman Burn sketchbook. So I know people are gonna ask about what sketchbook I'm using. Uh, just know that like the pages, like yeah, they bleed through. So if you're okay with that, then this is a pretty good sketchbook. Um, these are just like sketches. In the beginning, I don't really remember the context behind some of these drawings because I did them a long time ago. So yeah, the explanation is going to be really brief. Um, these are just some sketches and I just highlighted with um, water-based marker or a highlighter. I think this is a highlighter, yeah. Here I also just doodled with highlighter and I don't know what I was doing, but okay, so this yeah, I don't really know what I was doing here. Um, I felt like this looked really good when I was doing, when I was actually drawing this, but now that I look at it, it's like... My roommate made apples. And look at her, she did the cute so bad at rabbit it. thing. <laughs> Happy later. Okay, thanks. Yeah. My roommate is literally my mom, even though she's younger than me. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this, I don't really like this, but I thought it was good when I first drew it. But now that I look at it, it's like stinky. So, okay, this I was just like still life, no, not still life, what am I talking about? Life drawings. Um, and I kind of just colored the background with a gray marker. Um, if you're curious about what marker I use, like this gray color, I use a Tombow brush pen. Um, and here I was drawing some more stylized characters with big ass hands and feet because why not? I was just experimenting I guess and here I also use Copic markers and look how much it bled. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. And here I don't know what I was doing. We're not gonna talk about that. And here I was probably just doodling again some more random sketches because I don't know what else to do. I went to the accepted students tour at MICA, Maryland Institute College of Art, and I was waiting in some waiting room or whatever, and there were, I was waiting for a long time, so I was really bored, and I just took out the sketchbook and drew the other kids that were waiting in the same room as me. So yeah, and I kind of just went in and filled in the regular space with, uh, paint marker because yeah and then here I don't like this so it'll move on okay so now we cut to like a week ago so this all this was like five months ago and then here is like last week where I when I first started moving into college and this was my I was in a so the way orientation worked in school was like part of it was online and part of it was uh, in person and so my orientation zoom meeting was you know kind of boring so I just kind of drew some of the other kids in the meeting and here are some more doodles, I guess. I was just drawing, I think this is an outfit that I wore to orientation, like the in-person part of it. Okay, so the next page is doodle, some doodles that I made during uh, orientation again. We were in this like big uh, lecture hall or whatever and they were giving presentations. 
that were not that interesting so i just doodled a lot yeah in the background again i went back in with some highlighter and filled in the negative space that's kind of my cheap or cheap tactic to making my sketchbook look nice like you might think my sketchbook looks really neat and organized and like very filled but actually i just kind of finesse my sketchbook into looking nice by um filling in the negative space with a bright color and it just makes the sketchbook look really complete and really nice looking otherwise they would have just been like boring like pencil drawings so yeah i they're not actually it's not actually that nice i just finesse my way see i did the same trick again so someone is like rolling something outside <sighs> okay these are probably more doodles from orientation in that lecture hall so these two are people that i saw in the lecture hall and the rest are just like random like random pair of legs i don't know Okay, so this was my first class um, ever of college, and my first class was a philosophy class, intro to morals and ethics or whatever, and yeah, so I just drew two people that I saw in front of me, and so yeah, I went back in and just colored stuff with the, the Tombow brush pens. I make it sound like I don't pay attention in class at all, but I do, okay? <laughs> sort of. Um, okay, so the next page is, okay, I was trying to practice drawing without sketching first, you know, because they say like, oh, drawing with pen makes you more confident in your lines or whatever, but that's what I was trying to do. And I tried to color it with a monochrome palette, but I didn't like it. So I ended up not coloring the rest. Maybe I'll go back in color, but I don't really care anymore. So yeah, again, I use Tombow brush pens. Those are like my favorite thing because they don't make the pages like bleed through or whatever. So, okay, so this is my desk. It's really messy because I'm not very organized. Um, I have like a bunch of dishes lying around like I leave my dishes on the table for like three days before I actually go clean them because I feel like I want to do a bunch of dishes all at once you know and then I have my laptop where I have zoom meetings and then um, this is the lamp that I'm actually balancing my phone on like right now <laughs> so um, yeah my desk is hella messy oops okay here I have a bunch of pen sketches oh by the way i used a muji ink pen um because they're like really smooth and easy to like sketch with so yeah these are just asl signs for the alphabet because during orientation my orientation leader knew sign language and he like for an icebreaker he just kind of taught us the alphabet and i kind of remembered a lot of it so yeah, I just drew what I could remember. I didn't do J and Z because I felt like that would be really hard to draw because they actually like move and stuff. So these are not ASL, these are just random. I don't know. These are my notes from my animation lecture. So yeah, we just kind of talked about spacing and timing and anticipation and all that, that stuff, those animation principles, you know? So I don't know if this is helpful to anyone, but um, okay, so this is, so these are some outfits that I wore in college. So this is like what I might wear to class. Sometimes I go on a run, so I wear like my kid's size sweatpants because I actually don't have to uh, just like roll up my pants if you buy kid's size. And then um a cute outfit for when i might like meet friends or something i don't know and then this is like when i run errands or something like that so this, that's like a grocery bag um yeah so again i just kind of colored in the background with marker because i'm lazy and i don't know what else to do okay here i was trying to practice calligraphy with this um brush pen that i had and yeah, like this is my name, my last name, and then these two, these two characters are my first name, I guess. 
and I just drew a bunch of other random characters. This is like, if you know calligraphy and stuff, please don't shit on me. I know this is not good. I bet like the people that don't know how to do calligraphy, don't know Chinese are gonna be like, wow, that looks so good. And then the people that actually know what this is will be like, but shit, but whatever. Um, here I was trying to draw the same couple over and over again because I'm, I noticed that in my last sketchbook I don't really draw, I draw like characters individually, but I wanted to draw like characters that are interacting with each other, so that's that. And then I did the cheap tactic with filling in the negative space with a bright color because yeah, not creative. And here I was trying to um, practice like motion or like action poses and this is very off-center I know but yeah I went back in with a bright yellow paint marker and finessed my sketchbook again all right this I was just doodling some dudes because I never draw dudes I'm so bad at drawing dudes because I, I for some reason I always make them feminine because I'm just so used to drawing girls, you know? So I was trying to, you know, use more angular lines or whatever. And, okay, next page is also the same thing. Yeah, by the way, I used the gray Tombow brush pens again for all these colors. And I used the Muji ink pen to line them. Uh, and yeah, so I was trying to draw more couples or whatever, interacting. And then here I was doodling in pen and then like without these backgrounds, like this sketchbook page, I promise you wouldn't look that nice, but I finessed it into looking nice by adding this background, you know? Yeah, so that's like, I guess the main takeaway from this sketchbook is to just Finesse your way through by adding in a solid background somewhere to make things stand out. That's that's this whole sketchbook, basically. Okay, last page. I didn't really do much. I just drew birds and then that's it. That's the end of my sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, also, I have a bonus um, tour. Not really, but I made a flip book for my animation class. That was like the first assignment so yeah i thought i'd share this too because it's like the same size look how tiny they are anyways yeah all right so this is the flip book i don't know how fast i should be flipping i'm really bad at flipping this That is the flip book. Um, I don't know if anyone's interested in animation, but uh, yeah, I try to incorporate some principles, you know? So this is like a stretch frame, like her face looks like so long, but it looks normal if you flip it really fast because it's like she's jumping up into the frame. a loop de loop and then hair goes like whoosh and then boom disappear okay that's it